friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 5th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well a look at earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, pretty large plasma filament erecting and taking off from the northwestern region there, as well the southwest region just afterwards. We've got a few sunspots to talk about that are now turning into Earth-facing position. And as well, some more plasma filaments. Having a look at those two events there incoming, we do have a bright active region cresting in right now on the right-hand side, looking at outgoing. One sunspot region leaving us. No major solar flares to talk about. And those CMEs were not in an Earth-directing Earth fashion. Both north and south. Quick look at those regions again. Huge plasma tornado and then... Whap! Falls right back into the sun. And then in the southwest region, shortly thereafter... Large plasma filament falling back into the surface. And you can see it moving northward creates a huge coronal hole right in that region. Having a look at multi-spectrum, showing the last 48 hours of events. Two CMEs to talk about, not in an earth-facing fashion. So our sun's still pretty quiet right now, only releasing one minor C-class solar flare over the past 24 hours. Another look here, coronal hole departing, and as I said, coronal hole developed in the southern region just after that plasma filament eruption. Very cool images coming from Solar Dynamics Observatory. Solar X-ray flux remains in heightened B range. Showing here one C-class solar flare yesterday. Geo solar flux remains low. And geomagnetic activity, we're sitting at KP3. Real-time solar wind sitting at 505 kilometers per second. After being it topped out at 624 kilometers per second. And that was from our newly arriving coronal hole wind stream. ISPA Space Prediction Spiral showing no new events coming our way. LASCO 2 and 3 showing Venus and Mercury, or sorry, Venus and Mars on the right hand side in the blue. Closer look here at the energy taking off from our sun the, la the past two days. LASCO 2. As you can see, both of those events, one in the northwest and one in the southwest, both away from us. Schumann resonance for today is a power of nine. Slightly elevated from the past few days as it's been pretty low, but still a healthy low power. Quality of 9.7, amplitude of nine, power of five. Now let's get to earthquake. earthquakes past 24 hours. Pretty quiet considering... But a couple rare earthquakes to report here in the North Pole, Bathurst Island region, Nunavut, Canada, 4.8, double that. As well, North American plate, minor swarm continuing, Cobb Mountain, California. Notable earthquake here, New Madrid, Van Buren, Missouri with a 3.1 magnitude. And as well, Poth, Texas with a 3.0 4.4 there to report in Nicaragua and way too quiet through the Caribbean right now. Quite a few volcanoes erupting through that region of Guatemala, Nicaragua, Puerto Rico only reporting one 3.0. That's a little bit strange. So heads up, Central America still, South America 5.0 here, Argentina, San Martin. And as well, a 5.0 Constitution, Chile, 
You know, 4.3 there, Chile, Argentina, border. 4.9, South Sandwich Islands. South Africa reporting a 4.6 today, 9 kilometer depth. As well, a 4.0 here in Eponus, Greece, and a 4.1 Kazakhstan. Quite a bit of activity through the Banda Sea up into the Philippines. Talad, Indonesia as well, 5.1. And a 5.0 through the region, 85 kilometer depth. Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, and as well Tonga here with the deepest earthquake today, 378 kilometer depth, 5.3 magnitude. Quiet through the Hawaiian Islands right now and not much to talk about in regards to the summit, the caldera. But definitely waiting for something to come here. California, northward up into the Juan de Fuca. Especially with those interesting and rare earthquakes in none of it. Having a look here at the last seven days for earthquakes across the world. Two sizable earthquakes there. Gulf of California and off the coast. Increased activity South America this week. Peru. Increased activity this week as well through Greece. And a look here at the Southeast Asia. Quite a few deep events to talk about this week through Fiji. So still expecting something larger here, possibly in the 7.5 to 8 magnitude range, Central America and northward. That is still my prediction. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected worldwide, natural disasters, earthquakes. Texas and Alabama, they had some extreme weather go through their states last night. Looking at a pretty sizable system and strong winds associated with this low coming out of Colorado. Remnants of Tropical Storm Lisa. As it did come through the Gulf and is heading up into and through the central states right now. A couple big systems getting ready to develop along the Atlantic coast this week. Having a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing most recent satellite imagery and volcanoes. Looking at Sangay in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala, Shivalich, Russia, Sabancaya in Peru, Popo in Mexico, Raventador in Ecuador. So that's about eight volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 54 that are active and erupting across the world. Quick look at satellite imagery, large atmospheric river, both South and North Atlantic right now, as some big storms are heading up into Iceland. Uh, remnants of Tropical Storm Martin. We have Tropical Storm Lisa in the Gulf, which I believe headed up in through the Gulf in the central states overnight. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. But some intense storms are raging through. And over the next couple of days, watch for a forecast of ex even more extreme weather coming your way through central United States. Overlooking the Pacific, atmospheric river stretching across the Pacific, heading into Washington, Seattle, Northern California this week. Drying out for Australia. Flood alerts and watches still continue through parts of Southeast Asia and as well Central Africa. And the stormy conditions are now moving in through parts of the United Kingdom. Let's get to weather here brought to you by VentuSky. As we do have a big system developing in the United States, as I, as I showed there, satellite imagery and looking at the forecast models here as it heads up into parts of Quebec. And then for the West Coast, we've got that big low grinding down this week. Going to bring some heavy snows and stormy conditions through parts of western United States. And then by Wednesday, Thursday next week, watch for a big snowy event for parts of Canada. And extreme weather event grinding up into Florida this week. 
large low pressure system for Carolina states. And then quite possible superstorm conditions developing here for Ontario and northeastern United States. Wednesday into Thursday. And then Friday, Saturday, watch for very strong winds and rainy conditions for the Atlantic coast and snow for Ontario. Other than that, drying for next weekend, West Coast, before the next systems come in from the Pacific, as they are all following the new same path. And then long-range forecast, another extreme weather event developing here for the Gulf states and as well the East Coast of the Atlantic. And some snowy conditions developing along range for Canada. Tropical system here developing for parts of Venezuela in the long range forecast. Looks like that'll be developing for next weekend. Overlooking Africa, no major weather systems affecting you. Just some stormy conditions developing Monday into Tuesday for parts of South Africa as that low pressure system scoots south. Daily evaporation rains through parts of Southeast Asia. No major tropical systems developing. Heavier rains through Papua New Guinea this week. And then Australia, down under. You've got some dry days ahead of you. And some warmer conditions moving in. Long range forecast showing some more rain and stormy conditions. Parts of east and north. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's update. Much love. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Much love, and bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.